How is the light of your life these days? If you've watched any of my messages uh, or sermons, or devo- you know I'm infatuated with flashlights. Ah, just can't get enough of them for some reason. <laughs> and this is a little light I use sometimes when I'm doing darkened worship services and I need to see. Okay, let's move on. I hope to see you in church this Sunday. We're going to be taking a look at Luke chapter 11 in the New Testament and uh, thinking about how God's Word and God's Spirit, God's presence in our lives illuminates and helps us see, and how you can be a lamp for God for someone else who's really hurting, struggling in the dark. Our contemporary service is at 8 a.m., Uh, We have a traditional service at 9.45 a.m., and we have an African-American service, uh, multilingual, at 11.30. I encourage you to come and join us in worship at one of those times, either in our air-conditioned sanctuary or online. Your presence with us sheds light. One of the joys of gathering together is through our various personalities and the bond of the Spirit amongst ourselves, the light of God's Word and Spirit only grows brighter. And I hope from worship, you are lit up so that you can shine the light of encouragement and God's peace for the week following. Make sense? So, hope to see you in church. And uh, and if this message is an encouragement for you, or maybe someone you know, pass it along. Just do that little easy forward thing, um, and you can just sell it. Say, hey, because I care for you, and I am inviting you to church. Have a great Wednesday. Have a great week, and I'll see you Sunday.